Here's your list of charges. You hacked into the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Department of Defense, and NASA. Over what kind of period were you hacking into these computers? Was it a one-time only? Was it oh, no, for the course of a week? A couple of years. And you went unnoticed for a couple of years? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's time to open the books on uh, questions that have remained in the dark, on the question of government investigations of UFOs. It's time to find out what the truth really is that's out there. NASA knew very little about um, the object reported by the Apollo 11 crew. It was obviously an unidentified flying object, but such objects were not uncommon. And the history of even Earth orbit space flights going back over the previous years indicated that several crews saw objects. There were a lot of people within the program who went off later and became convinced that UFOs existed. And that led to some concern on NASA's part where they got the agreement of the crew never to publicly talk about these things for fear of ridicule. As they were sitting there filming, a little saucer came from, uh, I say a little saucer, it was a saucer came flying over their heads, put down three little landing gear and landed right out on the dry lake there. I believe that these extraterrestrial vehicles and their crews are visiting this planet from other planets and are obviously a little more advanced than we are here on Earth. I got out in 1989, we had cataloged 57 different species. The uh, situation is that we have various types of what we normally call grays, we didn't call them grays in the military, but you had at least three types of grays. The enemies that we did catalog were in fact humanoid. Now this created a situation where the scientific community was trying to figure out why that would be the case. 11,000 UFO sightings have been reported in Britain since 1959. Apollo 14 astronaut Dr. Edward Mitchell says he's certain we are not alone in the universe. The facts are too disturbing for the majority of the populace. Some of them actually have bases and have had bases on planet Earth for maybe thousands of years. Official agenda is, I've been told, on both sides of the Atlantic is that gradual disclosure has to be the way and my instinct tells me that disclosure process has begun. The reason for the denial was uh, that they were going to get in. They didn't know that the things were hostile and could we uh, protect ourselves from them. Didn't want the Soviets to know, so they devised to, to lie about it and cover it up. Mexican Air Force pilots capturing on videotape what are said to be 11, count them 11, UFOs. So many other governments are losing patience with our government's intransigence in ending this embargo. Uh, other messages have been sent by France in uh, 1999 with a Cometa report and by the United Kingdom when they released a substantial number of documents regarding the Bentwaters case in 2000. Many countries know about the extraterrestrial presence, but they deferred to the United States with, uh, with regard to the timing of when disclosure would take place. Hundreds of government witnesses in this country have come forward, uh, and other governments are putting pressure on our government, and the American people need to prepare themselves very soon for an announcement from our government that there is in fact an extraterrestrial presence engaging this planet and the human race. Suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet outside in the universe. We forget all of the local differences that we have between our countries. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bond. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. We do still have a limited partnership with the Anunnaki, but it's not, uh, it, 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 it remains somewhat tense, let's put it that way. And we are now told from Henry that there are some 240,000 personnel on Mars, of which only 10,000 are people that were born on Earth. Deacon's testimony regarding uh, things like Stargate and the idea that there are at least 40, 45 different species of human beings that he actually personally met and interacted with in the course of working in a variety of compartmentalized projects. No, no, let me so, we got to be up to about 14% of Americans say they have seen UFOs. I'm going to move that. What was the percentage? 14%. What was that percentage? 14.